Tunisia government has deployed the army on the state to deal with people who are not respecting the measures taken by government to contain the spread of COVID-19 pandemic. Health officials have warned that if the nation is not shut down, a lot of lives may be lost. Authorities say the uh, measures are yielding positive results in helping the country to bring the situation under control. Let's have more details of that in this report. Tunisian health authorities have warned that the country will suffer human losses if the general lockdown and quarantine measures are not fully respected. The head of state deployed the army in response to the failure to comply with these decisions, especially in regions that have recorded horizontal transmissions. I understand the measures are necessary for health reasons, but I can't stay at home for the whole day. It's difficult to change one's habit. Staying at home and respecting the lockdown and curfew is not out of fear, but rather a responsible behavior to stop the spread of the virus. I agree that our rights may be restricted for a short period of time to save lives. The Minister of Health noted that China's management of the coronavirus crisis is exemplary. The epidemiological situation can improve if we follow China's strategy, where the number of infections and deaths is down and will certainly reach zero. China's example is reassuring. The president of the Health Commission at the Tunisian parliament also noted that many lessons could be learned from China's successful lockdown in some affected regions. Chinese authorities closed a dozen makeshift hospitals in Wuhan. This proves that efforts to curb the virus are working when people respect the lockdown. This is a lesson for Tunisia and Africa where governments do not have enough means to face the virus. China's success is also a lesson to the world. The Ministry of Health has urged citizens to respect coronavirus general lockdown. Authorities say this behavior is not a procedure that limits freedom, but rather a necessary measure to protect public health. The director of the National Observatory of New and Emerging Diseases declared that it is still possible to redress the situation by respecting the general lockdown, the curfew, as well as all prevention measures. The official added that otherwise the consequences will be disastrous.